Hi friends, welcome to my Rolodex art. This is my first Rolodex and I'm really enjoying it so I want to share this video with you guys. I did a pattern, um, copied one off of the computer and had to go to the library to get the copy, <laughs> printed it up and um, there we are. I'm using these scrap cards from uh, my YWAP group. This is like really old one so I have tons and tons so I think I'm going to make all my Rolodexes from here, from this. Just recycle. So, cut that out. I feel good about recycling, so. Like we all do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my gesso, and it's Artist Loft gesso that I'm using today, and I'm just going to put gesso all over the ones. I end up doing the other side too, but I don't think I show you on the video. Um, so I just gesso it over enough so I can't really see too much. I'm not too particular. And then I um, have these papers. They're like um, line papers, but they're not like graph almost papers. They're not quite, I can't think of what they are. Um, and I just use gesso as my glue and get them down in there. And they're really nice. They're like an off-white uh, cream color and they're almost beige, yellowy. Really nice paper. I think it's the kind of paper you put your like your um, numbers in when you're doing like old businesses when they had their numbers and their mo the amount of money they brought in all that, that kind of paper. Anyway, <laughs> so I use my gesso as a glue here and I just dry that up and cut my edges off. Here I'm actually before I cut my edges off I'm just using glue stick to put some tissue paper down. I just add it to the card rather than tearing my tissue. Stamp tissue I got in Happy Mail and I put that down. Then I cut out the edges. Very nice. Cut out my little pieces in the bottom where, where you put on the Rolodex. Hopefully one day I can find a Rolodex and get it on there. I don't want to buy one. just want to recycle so hopefully I can find one. Until then I may make a, a box that they'll fit in. So then I decided to pull out my watercolor crayons and the brand is standard I think it's and it's like the student probably student grade um, and I just color in some flowers and I use my water brush Tim Holtz water brush to spread the color around in there I use yellow or, or this one's orange red and yellow and a bit of green on the leaves that I do have there and I just use my water brush to move it around and it's fine, worked good. I, I spread whatever I can of color up on the top part of the card there just to spread it around to kind of clean off my brush at the same time. I add a little bit more color up there. A little blue. And then I believe I grab my graphite. I think I do at this point. Maybe I don't. I think actually I have to be not so ahead of myself. I'm grabbing a little black. That's what I do first. I got a little black for my crayon and I'm just doing my edges and some of the black flowers and plant life that's in there. And I grab my graphite later. I just wanted to get a little base happening there, a little color. So wet that up a bit, smear it up and then dry that off. I have a stencil here I got at Walmart and I just use my fingers in there. I start off with a brush but I use my fingers in there just to get white gesso in those flowers and it kind of forms a ridge. I really like that. So I do that, get some fla more flowers in there a different texture and different uh, look than the color flowers in the background. Dry that up and I add a little bit more flowers. I want to dry it up so my stencil doesn't damage any of the flowers I have in there already. And there we go. Looking good. I like these cute little flowers. So now I pull out my graphite and this is water soluble and I go around my flowers and then I use my Tim Holtz brush to just brighten that up. It really makes it 
crisp and snappy. I like it. Shows out those, uh, pops those flowers up. I also add a little bit of the graphite to the edge, I believe, and see how it just pops those up. I think it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. I want to do as much as I can. So I, there's some black flowers in there and different flowers in there. I do a little um, hashtags all the way around. Little, not hashtags, little like um, stitching all the way around. And then I do little the pollen pieces on the some of the flowers and some of the black flowers in there. Just the little ends of the stems or whatever they're called, stamen. And then I do a little black stamen in, in the white flowers there. Just dots. And that's what it's looking like so far. So I have my hearts picked out. I picked some nice green hearts and I'm trying to place them up. And to uh, put those down I use um, Liquitex uh, matte medium as my glue. It's thicker and it won't just smear everywhere. I could just really blob it on and then let it dry. So that's why I used it instead of like a, a tacky glue or anything like that. And I can move it around a little bit better. I think it just gives me more freedom to move it around. I add some stitching around the back heart because I didn't have any. And just play my placement just a tad and pick up any of the uh, stuff that's coming out from behind the uh, medium. That's kind of squishing out while I was playing with it there. And then I grab that uh, stencil again and I'm starting to make some uh, oh here I spray my flowers so then I can actually go over them and not smear the, the water soluble, soluble graphite so I go over my flowers again making some invisible flowers per se with my matte medium so once it's dry it's going to be invisible and I kind of slide my stencil underneath there moving around and then I like that because I have these little more texture in there and these little invisible flowers as another piece that just pops and after that I add some gold on top of it just bra braise my finger over it just very slightly and have a little bit of pickup from that to show the invisible flowers are there so I use that elegant gold right there it's a very light one and I just dip my finger onto my pa table, my paper on table and just wipe what I can off and just breeze over it, get a little on my hearts and all that kind of things, my edges, you can see my invisible flowers are popping a little bit more, can you see that? And I just love that texture. Love it. I can see how these can be very addicting. <laughs> That's my first one. I really enjoyed it. So it's a little different than the ATC or something else. Kind of had fun. So I'm taking my bottle of paint here and just using my thin fine liner and doing dashes up top there, around the top. So I have the white dashes with the Pasca on the bottom and the black dashes, thicken them up a bit on the top. There we go. And that is it, my friends. I love this one. This was really fun for my first one and I hope you enjoyed this video. I got quite a few pictures there at the end so check them out. Bye!